Gemini, mm mm, Gemini, mm mm, Gemini. <laughs> Hi, Gemini. How the freak are you guys doing? Welcome back to another reading. Um, as always said, this is a general reading. So please take what makes sense for you. Leave the rest for someone else, okay? Please like this video, guys. As always said, um, if you're dealing with a Gemini, this could be playing out from your uh, perspective, okay? So sit tight, grab a flight, grab a bite, take a flight, catch a high, whatever you need to do. Just relax. This is an all signs <laughs> bonus video for Gemini. So towards the end, uh, we will be pulling messages from Aries to Pisces what each of these signs would want to say to you. Um, and then after that, we will be going over the, the general energy for Gemini, general messages, okay? So uh, you can find the timestamps in the description, all right? So this is for the Gemini. This is for the Gemini. What is coming to the Gemini collective? Gemini, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is coming to Gemini in love, please? What is coming to Gemini in love, Hmm. Wow. Well, Gemini, you have picture perfect, reaching out, growing closer and can't let go. So someone can't let you go. <laughs> this freak is reaching out with their hand here. Um, yeah. So let's see what this freak is, has going on. What's going on here? Okay. Someone apparently can't let you go, Gemini. Uh, what is coming to Gemini in love? What is coming to Gemini in love, please? Gemini. Two of Wands reverse. What is coming to the Gemini in love? Gemini. So you've probably been in separation with this person, Gemini, but it shows that it's coming to an end. What is coming towards Gemini in love? What is coming to Gemini in love? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I feel like someone's going to unblock you, Gemini. Maybe this person blocked you or you blocked this person. Okay, so you could be unblocking them or they could be unblocking you. But someone's about to unblock, okay? Um, it's either that or someone who, who's been very defensive with you, keeping you at arm's length or something like that is about to try to come back into your life, okay? What is coming to Gemini in love? Gem <laughs> What is going to Gemini in love, angels? Gemini, what else do we have? Ooh, nine of swords. Uh, well, Gemini, I got somebody who is facing tower after tower when it comes to you. You got the nine of swords. So this freak is really going crazy. They're really in their head about you. Um, as much as they stay away from you, they want to talk, okay? You may have been dealing with someone who's been in denial, okay? What is coming to Gemini in love? Can I have... Four more cards. What is coming to Gemini in love? The Nine of Cups. What is coming to Gemini in love? Let me get three more cards. Gemini. I feel like someone's been pretending like... I don't know how to describe it. You have the High Priestess. Someone has been pretending like... I don't know, like nonchalant. Like they don't care or something like that. Because you have the Nine of Cups. So it's almost like this is someone who... I don't know if they're doing things to piss you off, like intentionally to get a reaction. Okay. What is coming towards Gemini in love? Two more cards. Tell me more about this love situation for Gemini. Tell me more. Oh. <laughs> Temperance reverse. Okay, so this could be a Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, with Gemini like yourself, okay? But the person in question, Gemini, whether you believe it or not or know it or not, this person has um, strong feelings for you. But the thing about the King of Cups is obviously he doesn't really show that on the surface. He tends to act like he's unaffected, but you can see the waves and everything is pretty choppy around him. But he keeps this his composure. So whoever you're dealing with, I have, the, I have a feeling that this person has been trying to basically act nonchalant, act unbothered. And the reason why I say that is because the Nine of Cups is here. Look how smug that freak is. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Um, but meanwhile, center of the reading, you got someone who's going through a tower, um, sudden realizations. Uh, basically, this person is realizing some shit, Gemini, okay? Uh, and they're, they're feeling guilty. They are. They try to ignore you or something like that, focus on work or act unaffected, but they actually really do care. I don't know if they wanted to give off the vibe like they don't give a damn. You may be dealing with someone who's just, yeah, 
this freak is fronting a little bit could be pisces cancer scorpio but this person misses you they're fronting seven of swords they're acting like they don't but they do i know you care <laughs> okay look hold on let me show you guys as soon as i cut the deck guys here it is let me show you okay as soon as I cut the deck, you have the Nine of Swords and you have the Eight of Coins once again. This is someone who's been trying to ignore you, trying to act unbothered, okay? But they're feeling guilty, shameless, and just basically going crazy. What is the Two of Wands reversed with Gemini? So if this person got distanced from you, Gemini, or something like that, this person is about to try to re-enter your life. You have the Ten of Cups, okay? So this freak may have a certain mindset. I feel like you're definitely dealing with someone who's very head over heart. Or at least they've been trying to be. Uh, this could be an Aquarius. Or remember, if you're cross watching for a Gemini, then it could be this, you know, Gemini who's doing this. Remember, uh, general readings can be interchangeable. So basically, you're dealing with someone who refuses to show emotion. They refuse to show that they care. Uh, this is someone who's pretty much a hard ass Gemini. They they fix their face like this. Okay, they're so damn stoic. What is the Seven of Wands reverse for Gemini in love? But at the same time, they can't let you go. They haven't. Yeah, see, they want to get out of the cold with you. They do. They do. What is the Nine of Swords? What is this Nine of Swords action for Gemini? What is the Nine of Swords action? <laughs> this freak can't sleep. They can't eat. Capricorn had a similar reading. Could be done with a Capricorn. Yeah, see, this freak is going crazy because their ego or their pride is causing them to hold back. I mean, <laughs> Gemini, it's like this person's breaking their own heart. The, this, the more they hold back and try to act like they're unaffected, it's breaking their own heart, Gemini. Okay? Maybe it's telling you if they had you in a third party, maybe you want nothing to do with them, okay, until they get rid of it. And that could be why they're going crazy because, like, damn, I want Gemini, but I know I have to, you know, make these changes. So, the, you know, the universe is throwing this freak a tower. What is a tower for Gemini in this love situation? Yeah, the tower is like, you got you better get a move on. You better do something here. You better talk to the Gemini. You got to make a change, okay? What is the Nine of Cups trying to act all smug like they don't give a damn when they rip? See, you know what, Gemini? I'm trying to tell you this person is trying to act unaffected, okay? Oh, jeez. Wow. Really? Why are they doing my Geminis like that? Okay? They're, this freak is trying to act unaffected like they don't care. <laughs> Whoa. Tell us more about this Nine of Cups. Wow. I knew it. I felt it. You got the Queen of Cups. Could be a Cancer. They, they try to act like they don't. They do. They do. They do care. They think about you almost all the time. Queen of Cups. Didn't I just say that? Eight of Swords. They think about you all the time. I mean, it's so much so that this person could be drinking, smoking a lot. This person's not doing too well without you, but it's almost like they don't want to show you that. But they will be communicating with you. I do feel that. What is Temperance Reverse for Gemini? Temperance Reverse is usually when something is basically out of whack with this person. Something's wrong with them. They could be depressed, experiencing mood swings without you. I mean, this person's got it bad. Seven of Coins. <sighs> what is the Eight of Coins? Some of you, if this is someone who really screwed up, they're going to try to fix things with you. You know, with the Eight of Coins. That's what they're going to try to do, Gemini. Death Reverse. They don't want it to come to an end. Could be a Scorpio. They want forgiveness. See? Yeah, got two cards of forgiveness here. Renewal, bearing the hatchet. So just understand this freak is going to try to make peace with you. Um, they've been fronting, but <laughs> um, it's only a matter of time, Gemini. It's only a matter of time before they reach out, before they do something here. Because apparently, they really, truly can't let you go despite what they show you. Um, they really can't. And they have deep feelings for the Gemini. But they're fronting. They're fronting, Gemini. They miss you, okay? Tell us more for Gemini in this love situation. What else do I need to see for Gemini in this love situation? The two of coins reverse. Some of you, this person, you know, they may, maybe they didn't make enough time for you in the past, okay? This person can also have, like, something that's kind of, they're juggling. If it's not another relationship, uh, for my third party partyers out there, it could definitely be something about their work, Okay. Ten of Wands reverse. I mean, this freak is literally burdened by you, burdened by these feelings. Uh, they want to talk, Gemini. It's what they want. Um, High Priestess, yeah. They've been, I don't know if this freak has kind of been giving you the silent treatment, but just understand this freak is about to reach out. They're about to reach out. All right, so let's get into the uh, 
collect, well, not the collective messages, but um, the zodiac signs, okay? So let's see. If you are dealing with an Aries, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm missing because I need to um, keep track of these timestamps. So if you are dealing with an Aries, let's see. All right, what does Aries want their Gemini to know, please? What does Aries, what the hell? You have new love, okay? So this Aries wants you to chase them. And maybe the fact that you're not, it's kind of bothering them. I'm faithful to you. I've been so hurt in my life that I've been a wall and push others away. Um, Aries to Gemini. This could be your divine masculine, your twin flame, Aries to Gemini. So this Aries can't eat, they can't sleep, just like I was saying. I'm thinking about taking a higher step of commitment, Aries to Gemini. Ooh, four-page love letter, okay? So this Aries definitely has some things they want to tell you, Gem um, Gemini, okay? <laughs> okay. If you are dealing with a Taurus, let's see what this Taurus wants you to know. Taurus to Gemini. What does Taurus want to tell Gemini, please? What does Taurus want to tell Gemini? Okay. Ooh. So you have, I ran from our connection because it was too intense. Okay, so this Taurus more than likely ran. Like a scary symbol will be. But they say I'll win your heart. What does Taurus want their Gemini to know? I'm having money issues. <laughs> Taurus to Gemini. I'll do whatever it takes to show you that my love is sincere. Changing my ways for you and us. Taurus to Gemini. So this Taurus may, they may, they may have a blocked heart chakra, okay? Ooh, okay. So we have, I'm coming back, baby. And you have stressed out over you. What else does this Taurus want their Gemini to know, please? Taurus to Gemini. They could be, like I said, this freak could be abusing drugs and alcohol. They're so depressed over you. Maybe this Taurus has been trying to be, you know, heartless or something. But they're, you're always on their mind, okay? You're always on this Taurus mind. If you are dealing with another Gemini, let's see what this Gemini wants you to know. Gemini to Gemini. Messages from Gemini to Gemini. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Well, this, these are all falling. Okay. Behind this ego and pride hides my pain and insecurity. I'm hiding who I am. I watch your social media. Would you accept me for me? <laughs> So this Gemini says that you're very unique. Okay, so look at that. This is double confirmation because this Gemini thinks that you're very special, unique. Okay, you're different from the rest. They know that. They say don't ever compare or blame yourself. You aren't the problem. It's me. They say they mean nothing to me. This Gemini wants to say a lot to you because all these just flew out. I'm in my feelings deep. They're shy to approach you. They want to start a family with you. For some of you LGBTs out there, okay, maybe this person's um, in denial. They're undercover, and they, they're in denial about that. 5D meets. This could be your twin, and they say, only one for me, okay? All right. If you are dealing with a cancer, let's see what this cancer wants you to know. All right, cancer to Gemini. What does cancer want their Gemini to know? Cancer to Gemini. So you have true love. So this Cancer probably knows that they have shadow work to do, which is why you haven't heard from them. Cancer to Gemini. I was still stuck in the past. That's why I ghosted you, but I know you are my future. Cancer to Gemini. Jealous thoughts of you with someone else. So maybe this Cancer was confused. So this cancer may be bringing you flowers, candy, and gifts. 
They say, I'm going to be more open and generous towards you. You deserve it. Child support. <laughs> and this cancer says, I'm crazy about you. And then you have, I don't want to be with them. So they don't want that other freak, okay? If it is third party, just understand they, <sighs> they don't, they don't want that freak, okay? All right. If you are dealing with a Leo... What does Leo want their Gemini to know? Leo to Gemini. It's poking out. Um, yeah, moving away soon. So whatever that means for you, for some of you. It's interesting because I think moving away soon always comes out for you guys when it comes to Leo. Okay. Leo to Gemini. I don't want anyone else. Okay. You're mine, period. <laughs> Leo to Gemini. Please be patient with me. Maybe this uh, Leo was confused in the part in the past. Okay, I'm crazy about you. They're worried you've moved on. I wish I told you my true feelings, Leo to Gemini. All I want is you. I'm realizing who you are to me. I was so blind before, so that's what that Leo would want to say. All right, moving on, moving on. If you're dealing with a Virgo, let's see. What does Virgo want their Gemini to know? Look what came out. <laughs> Nothing and no one compares to you. You're special to me. I want to be more than friends. Virgo to Gemini, please. Virgo to Gemini. Oh. My heart and my soul belongs to you. Virgo to Gemini. So this Virgo could be in a karmic relationship. They don't want that freak, okay? Karmic. You better not, but they don't want you to be seeing anybody right now. Virgo to Gemini. Okay, so you have, I just want to be friends. I want to be more. Okay, so maybe in the past, this Virgo just want to be friends. Okay, they've been fronting, but they do have strong and deep feelings for you, okay? They don't want to be just friends. Virgo to Gemini. Do you remember our special times? So maybe this person could be undercover, okay, for my LGBT out there. Virgo to Gemini. And they say, I miss you. Okay, so this. And you have, where do you think you're going? <laughs> That's funny. <sighs> if you're dealing with a Libra, let's see. What does Libra want their Gemini to know? Libra to Gemini. You have travel. Does Libra could be long distance? So they say, let's stay together. So you have, I just want to be friends. So maybe this, you know, Libra put you in a friend zone or something, but that's not what they want. But maybe they just want to take it slow with you. Libra to Gemini. I'm going to tell you how I feel. They say the feeling is mutual. Libra to Gemini. Oh, so this freak says, I chose the wrong person. Trying to ignore you. Always looking at your photos. And I'm coming back. Okay, cool. This Libra doesn't want to be with that freak, okay? All right, if you are dealing with a Scorpio. Scorpio to Gemini. Scorpio to Gemini. Okay, so you have plans to leave you. So with plans to leave you, okay, maybe the Scorpio left you for some of you. Um, and if not, then they have plans to leave somebody else. You have everyone just gets me annoyed. All I want to do is be with you. Scorpio to Gemini. I'm thinking about taking a higher step of commitment. Oh, yeah, so this Scorpio is fronting. <laughs> Scorpio to Gemini. So maybe the Scorpio is acting like they just wanted your body or something, but lo and behold, they actually have a lot of feelings for you. Yeah, maybe the Scorpio wanted to play the field, but they say my heart and soul belongs to you, Scorpio to Gemini. For some of you, the Scorpio could be married, okay, and they, they want to leave that freak. And you have, I've been so hurt in my life that I built a wall and pushed others away. 
So that married part is not for all of you, of course, because we're not, I mean, we're not all chilling with a damn married freak, okay? All right, so. <laughs> all right, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius want their Gemini to know? Sagittarius to Gemini. I always pick up the phone to reach out, but I get nervous. I'm going to be more open and generous towards you. You deserve it. Scorpio, I'm, um, oh fuck, okay. <laughs> Sagittarius to Gemini. I was listening to my family and friends. They gave me bad advice. Sagittarius to Gemini. Infatuated, okay? Maybe this uh, Sagittarius, thought at first they were infatuated with you and that it was just sex or something like that and they were listening to their stupid friends stupid family members okay the sagittarius is being stubborn but they cry over you <laughs> walking away from you is the hardest thing i've ever had to do i still love you some of you i'm also hearing they were listening to you know um i don't know, like they care about what people think okay there could be religious factors but they say pick up when i call okay yeah, this Sagittarius is trying to find the right words to say. All right. They're going to call you, though. Okay. Sagittarius freak is going to call. <sighs> if you are dealing with a Capricorn. Let's see. Capricorn to Gemini. Capricorn to Gemini. This wants to come out. You're special to me. Capricorn to Gemini, please. Capricorn to Gemini. Ooh, I want to marry you. It's poking out. So this Capricorn definitely has long-term plans for the Gemini. They're going to tell you how they feel. Capricorn to Gemini. New love. So with new love, this could be a new person, okay? If not, then this could definitely be someone who wants a new beginning with you in love. They don't want anyone else, Gemini, okay? Capricorn to Gemini. They say pick up when I call. This Capricorn says you can trust me. Capricorn to Gemini. I'll never leave you again. So this Capricorn probably walked away from you, okay? Maybe this Capricorn didn't feel good enough, but they're hiding how obsessed with you they are. Interesting. All right. If you, if you are dealing with an Aquarius, let's see, what does Aquarius want their... Uh, Gemini to know. Oh, so this Aquarius is falling in love with you or they have fallen in love with you. Aquarius to Gemini. You're special to me. Aquarius to Gemini. I'll never leave you again. Aquarius to Gemini. Everyone was just a distraction from you. I was trying to fill a void. So this person doesn't want anyone else, okay? So maybe this uh, Aquarius told you that they just want to be friends, but... That's actually a lie. They fronting, okay? So maybe this Aquarius, they couldn't stop being a player. I'm getting that for some of you, this Aquarius was a player, okay? And they just ended up falling in love with you, and then they started fronting and acting weird, okay? Aquarius to Gemini. No one understands me the way you do. I can only be my true self when I'm in your presence. Yeah. I mean, Aquarius and Gemini is really understand each other. I'm an Aquarius. Maybe this... Um, Aquarius is being selfish, but they say, I love you more than anything. Okay. Right. So last but not least, last but not least, we got Pisces. They are connected to a Pisces. What does Pisces want Gemini to know right now? Pisces to Gemini. So this Pisces, this is confirmation water sign. <laughs> oh, so this Pisces is praying that you'll come back. Pisces to Gemini. Please be patient with me. This Pisces is sad over you. <laughs> I'm scared to love and to open my heart, but something tells me your love is safe for me. Pisces to Gemini. So then now they want to know dinner and a movie. Time to heal. So maybe this Pisces pushed you away, Gemini. Okay, it's kind of what I feel. I hate being with them. They don't want to be with anyone else. It doesn't mean that there's a third party, but just anybody that they're dealing with, they don't want them, okay? They don't like them. They That's not what they want. See, I just said that I only desire you, Pisces to Gemini. And this Pisces is madly in love with you, okay? One more. 
Oh, first thing on my mind in the morning. So the first one on this Pisces mind, okay? I thought I was doing the right thing by pushing your love away, but I crave it so badly and I just need more time. All right, guys. So that is what we have. Um, cool, cool. So now we're getting into the overall messages for this reading. Angels, what does this person uh, want to communicate to Gemini, please? Ooh. Okay, so this person wants to say, I'm sorry for being selfish. Yeah, this person was probably emotionally unavailable. It was never you, it was me. But now this freak is feeling left out in the cold. Maybe this person was afraid to give their heart away. They say, walking away from you was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I still love you. So for a lot of you in this reading, this freak walked away from you, okay? Or it was just hard to get through to this person. You have divine feminine. You may be dealing with someone who's in jail or prison. Jail and prison can also be talking about how they're in their head about you a lot. I'm being stubborn. I always pick up the phone to reach out, but I get nervous. I'm hiding my loneliness and sadness from everyone. I'm a mess over you. This freak is a mess over you. <laughs> All right. Overall message for Gemini. Would you say yes to marrying me? Always on my mind. I talk to others about you. Oh, so we have, I've moved on in the reverse. Yeah, this person's front and they wanted to, I don't know. They've been acting like they're over you or something, but they're not. Some of you just freak, maybe you just had something sexual with them and you thought they just want your body, but they really don't, okay? It's more than just that. If it's third party, they're leaving that freak. They don't want them. Gemini. Yeah, this person may even chose the wrong person for some of you. But you have an unexpected confession coming. This freak cries over you. Let me get some more for Gemini. This person's catfishing. They're creating fake profiles. They're fronting. What is wrong with this person, Gemini? Um, I want you back in my life, but I'm worried you won't trust me. You know what? Let's pull one more. Let's pull one more. What does this person want to tell Gemini? Emotions scare me. And I ran from our connection because it was too intense. So you maybe, yeah. I don't know. The strongest energy around this reading is that you're dealing with somebody who really, really, I don't know. They're very guarded or that's how they were acting. They just act like they don't give a damn or something like that. Anyways, I love you guys, Gemini. I hope you guys enjoyed. We will talk again next week. Mwah.